2314 is my placing of this Corydale Breeding U class. Now my top pair take two to win as she best combines growth, production, and genetics to give her an overall advantage today. She had the highest growth rate numbers in the class and carried a double R code on gene, causing her, allowing her to pass on more susceptible genes to Scrapey to her future offspring and still fits the owner's standards of having a higher fleece count and displaying a heavy, bulky fleece in the ring, better fitting the breed standards. Now sure, my class winner could have stood on a stouter foot and bone, but her high progeny data coupled with her full and robust rib causes me to think that she'd be more profitable to any aspect of production. Now sure, I do recognize that three was larger through her frame and stature, but she's less impressive in her numbers when compared to my class winner, so I keep her at a close second. Now as we move on down the line into my intermediate pair, it's three over one, as three has more t potential to better fit the desired scenario. She's a faster growing, more resistant you that's still fuller and more dimensional to her rib. Now yes, one was level as any in the ring, but she falls short on the growth aspect of things and flattens out through her rib, so I'll leave her third today. But as we move on down into my final pair, it comes to growth and genetics that allows me to take one over four as one that allows me to take one over four as one was heavier at 121 120 day weight and was a, and was a more resistant you and still offered a bolder sprung more dimensional rib now yes four had the highest fleece count in the in the class but bottom line she was the slowest growing most susceptible to scrapey and causing me to think that she can't pass on these the outstanding genetics seen in my top trio so i leave her last today as she can't fit the breed standards for this specific operation thank you